Revelations 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou doing not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren to have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Rakarpadash, the blindness of my apostles, the elders, and great millstone, the men that taught me this truth through the spirit. Peace and blessings to the elect of the house of Israel that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. This is going to be in response to GMS cats are obsessed with the MOTB. Obsessed, hashtag obsessed, hashtag mark of the peace, hashtag MOTB. And this is the Zaquan, uh, but not the Zakba, GMS South Carolina 08. This is his channel. All right, now let's get into it. This is going to be a quick hit, man. You know, you know, like the brother was going in on his video. You had the scoffer talking shit, saying that we are obsessed with the mark of the beast. And um, the question is, what are we supposed to be obsessed with? What are we supposed to be focusing on? What are we supposed to be watching for? Right? Are we supposed to be, you know, caught up into the, the latest trends of hip-hop? And R and B and caught up with the celebrities life in TMZ. Are we supposed to be caught up into the finals or the Super Bowl and uh the Olympics and you know, what are we supposed to be caught up in? Right? But that just shows you the mentality and the mind frame of our people. Right? Let's get that scripture. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 10. And so it's which say to the sea, it see not. Let me see. Isaiah 30 and 9. It says, this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. These, that these people be stubborn rebels who refuse to pay attention to what the Lord's instructions are, right? And that's these people. That's why we know that the majority of Jake ain't going to get this. The, more, the majority of Jake can't get jiggy with this, right? Because they are not the, um, they are not of the elect, right? The Lord already told us whether they hear or forbear, prophesy unto these people, give them warning from me. That's the only job that a prophet is supposed to do is give the people warnings, right? All this relationship coaching, you know, yeah, life, uh, life coaching, all that other shit. Yeah, we are supposed to be fathers to the fatherless and um, God is of the widows and things of that nature. But everything that Jake is caught up into, everything that you see these other Israelites do, is not good representations of what a prophet is supposed to be doing. Right? A prophet is supposed to be telling you things that's supposed to happen on the earth before it happens. Nothing more, nothing less, man. You know? It says, which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not. Or to us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. They tell the seers, stop seeing visions. That's basically what you're saying. Oh, y'all obsessed with the MOTB. We obsessed with all prophecies because we want to see America uh, go down. We want to see the end of this captivity. We want to see salvation. We want to see the kingdom of heaven. We want to be in a world where righteousness is. Where your woman is in order. Your children are in order. You're in order. Nobody is breaking the lowest ash of commandment. That's the world we want to be in. Where we don't have to teach anymore. Right? Where we ain't got to teach our neighbor not to go off 
and what's right and what's wrong. That's the world we want to be in. We want to. We don't want to be in this satanic uh, society where your, your children gets indoctrinated, your 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 relationships get indoctrinated, your woman gets indoctrinated, right? You battling all types of spirits and demons. You got to fight all type of lust, right? So it says, don't tell us right. Tell us nice things. Tell us lies. It says, get you out the way. Turn aside on out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And that's the lot of the scoffers, man. They don't want the kingdom of heaven. They don't want uh, righteousness to be implemented on the earth. They like this world that's filled of darkness, that's filled with do as thou will, that they could fulfill the lust of the flesh, the eyes, and the pride of life, whose God is their belly, their appetites. This is the world they love living in. Well, we tired of this world. We sick of this world. We don't want to be in this world anymore. Right? So one, one point I wanted to make Oh, let me get this scripture down and make my point. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and will and be occupied in prophecies. So obviously this man, Absalom, is not giving his mind over to the law of the Most High. And he's not occupying in the meditation thereof. And he will not seek out the wisdom of the ancient. And this is why he hates or he talks shit when men are constantly bringing out prophecies. I remember another guy. He used to be amongst us, but he fell out. He's back in outer darkness, right? And he was like, I'm tired of. You know, he couldn't stand being around brothers that always talked about the destruction of America. He's like, I'm tired of hearing about that. A man that's in the truth, that know he's an Israelite, actually said that. I'm tired of hearing brothers talking about the destruction of America. What else are we supposed to be talking about, man? You know? But the scriptures say be occupied in prophecies, man. This is the GNT, Sirach 39 and 1. It says, but it is different with the person who devotes himself to studying the law of the Most High. He examines the wisdom of all the ancient writers and concerning himself with the prophecies. That's what a wise man is going to do. That's what a servant of the Lord is going to do. And that's what the elect is going to do. They're going to concern themselves with the prophecies of the Lord. Right? It's, it's, that plain, it's plain and simple, man. And it's not like brothers are saying something outside of what the Most High and the Messiah said. What Yahweh should be our Shah said. This is the book of Luke. Let me get in the um, other one. This is the book of Luke 21 and 36. 36. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. It says, keep alert at all times. So what are we supposed to be alert about? What are we supposed to be um, aware of? Prophecies. And pray that you might be strong enough to escape these things coming. What's these, what's these coming horrors? The prophecies. Of the judgments, of the plagues, 
of the of, of the destruction. It says to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. So it's it's confusing to hear Jake. Well, it's not confusing. It's 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 sad, but we know that that's the lot of the unrighteous. Uh, of the unrighteous. That's the lot of the ungodly. That's the lot of the scoffer. That's the lot of the two third. Um, what I want to get next. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So these are not these are not our words. These are not our words. So when a brother brings out the prophecy in his lesson, that's the Lord warning you of what's to come. So basically you're saying you're tired of hearing the, the, the words of the Lord. You're tired of hearing the, the Most High speak unto you. You're tired of hearing the warnings that the Most High is giving you before he makes his grand judgments upon the planet Earth. That's what you're saying? Behold, speak thou in the ends of my people with the words of prophecy. This is, this is like one-on-one -on -one right here. These are the first scriptures you learn when you first hear that you were Israelite. Speak thou in the ends of my people the words of prophecy. Oh, we supposed to be in the ends of our people the word of rap videos? R&B videos, uh, 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 the word, are we supposed to speak on to them, uh, love movie, Israelite love movies, are we supposed to speak on to them, you know, uh, uh, whatever else Israelites are into, marching in the street, screaming Christ, are we supposed to speak into our people the words of prophecy, which one, which one? Right? And one point I wanted to make, when you look into, um, uh oh, real quick, one more scripture came to mind. One more scripture, and then I'm going to make my point. This is the prologue of Sirach, the wisdom. The prologue of the wisdom of Yahawashah, the son of Sirach. Not Yahawashah, the Messiah, but Yahawashah, the son of Sirach. Because the word, the name Yahawashah was a common name. Joshua was a common name. Here we go. So this is Sirach 1 and 1, the prologue. This is about the, the middle of the paragraph. So it says... It says, in other books of our fathers, and had gotten therein good judgment, was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom, to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted, and are addicted, and are addicted to these things, might profit much more. And living according to the law. Right? So we have to be addicted to these things. Addicted. Yes, the prophets are obsessed with the prophecies. You damn right. And in the Sirach, I mean Yahweh Shah um said that you gotta be addicted to learning. Right? The scriptures say in Sirach 35 and 39 to be occupied in prophecies. Revelation 19, you got to be in the, the, the testimony of Yahweh Shah as a spirit of prophecy. Come on now. And then when you get into 2nd Ezra, right? Second Ezra, right? It said that he fasted 
Second Ezra 6 and 35. After that, I mourned and fasted seven more days as I've done before. And so I completed three weeks of fasting. Three weeks. Ezra's fast. And he fasted another week, but he ate herbs and flowers. So he fasted for four, three weeks. Right? And then the fourth week, he fasted eating herbs and flowers. Right? So right there. And why did he fast? So he could receive the prophecies of the Lord. He could receive the visions. The answers he's been looking for. So if that's not obsession. And that's not being addicted. I don't know what is. You can't even fast. Jake in these times can't even fast 24 hours. A complete dry fast. Imagine fasting for weeks on end. And then fasting, eating only flowers and herbs. So pretty much that's it. I pray and hope that y'all was edified. I'm going to give all praises out and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Wahara, Kakwadash. Till next time I say Shalom.